Hi everyone, it's Toffa here and welcome back to another Grand Theft Auto 5 online video. Today we're going to be going over how to lower your car past sports suspension and along with it being lowered past slam suspension as well. Alright guys, the first part of getting this kind of glitch trick to work is you want to make sure you've got a bulldozer and uh, I'll show you a couple locations that you can actually find it or it kind of was just one location with them all kind of spawning near enough in the same place. So we've got kind of like down here near Trevor's airfield up at this construction site and they seem to spawn basically everywhere around here. Uh, you can, as you see, one spawned here and another one spawned just down the hill. And you might be wondering why you need a bulldozer. Well, the bulldozer plays a massive part uh, in actually activating this trick slash kind of glitch. So once you've got your bulldozer and you've got your vehicle you want to lower, all you want to do you kind of just set it up, you want to get your bulldozer in the right position. You can do it with two, but it might take a little longer, it depends if you want to get it to a right location, but I mean, I've just done this for recording purposes, but if you want, you can just easily pick two up down at the construction site and do it far easily, easier than what I've done here. And all you want to do is lower your bucket that you've got on the front of the bulldozer, just lower it gently down onto the car and you should see the entire chassis of the vehicle should just kind of like go closer and closer to the ground and you can lower it as much as you want as you see you can even lower it so the tires stick out the side fenders which is quite bizarre and you can get some pretty nice snapmatics using this trick glitch which it's actually quite awesome as you, as you see probably by the thumbnail that the car is just in a ridiculous position and it just looks unreal so yeah all you want to do now once you've got your car lowered in the position you want is just drive away so the bulldozers can despawn and then once they despawn you should see that like the car is still in the position of w if the bulldozers were still there so it's like the game hasn't really updated and the game still thinks that the bulldozers are pushing the pushing the vehicle down into the ground so yeah and if you can't get this kind of glitch to work just keep at it and uh, try it with one bulldozer at a time maybe just lower the back end and if lower the front end instead of doing it with two bulldozers at the same time which seems to be a lot trickier and just harder to do. You can see now that we're back to the vehicle and it's fully lowered into the position we left it once the bulldozers were actually there and it actually looks pretty insane you can get some as I said pretty cool snapmatics and just generally amaze your friends because not a lot of people know about this and it's uh, not really something a lot of people do as well. I'll just throw this out there, there are some drawbacks of using this trick to lower your car. Unfortunately, sometimes uh, people won't actually see it lowered, so if you've got a group of friends and you want to show this to them, and uh, you lower it and on your screen it's lowered, on their screen it may not be lowered, so just watch out for that if you want to do car shows or uh, anything in that matter. As well from that, there is some things you actually may want to watch out for. With the vehicle being lowered, if it's lowered on your screen, you want to make sure that nothing touches it. If it collides with a bullet, if it collides with a car, if it collides with you, if you run into it, or even if you try to get inside the driver's seat and drive it, it will just um, automatically go back to its original form and not be lowered. So just watch out for that and try not to collide with it too much. Thanks everyone for watching. I've been Toffetastic. Now if you have enjoyed the video, feel free to subscribe, leave a comment down below, and I'll see you all, hopefully, in the next video.